start recording. Hello guys, Minecraft Anime Girl here, and today we're doing another part of my semi roleplay survival. Uh, you might notice some things are off from the um, preparation phase. We had a little bit of a failed recording. So, mm, it's Abyssal Walkers. Can't even get in there. I gotta fall back. These things are some of the more these things are some of the more powerful fighters from the end. I don't know why they went to the overworld though. Mm, well, for whatever reason they're here. So they took over an overworld village. Bit of rain. Come back here. I saw that hat. Ah. Oh, he cut me good. Okay, let's see what's all let's see what's all left in here. They have unarmed ones too. Finally, finally those magic using freaks are dead. Ah, there's more of you. Of course there's more of you. Always has to be more of you, doesn't there? Looks like a fight went on in here. No humans left. Not even, like, captured humans. Are they all dead? That was a tiny invasion force for them. The Abyssal Walkers are known for their large invasion forces. This looks like all the human stings. You got, there's loads of stuff in here. There's everything from guns to knives. 
more crates. Just money. Lots of money and stuff. Just a bit of writing in it. I guess I could take this home with me. Ring of protection. Hmm. Cool. Some rare ingots. Some USP poison ammo. I don't know any any kind of group that uses this stuff. But hey, USP. It's pretty sick. Let's see, do they have any ammo in here? Red mini Uzi. It's pretty cool as well. They also have one of these. Modification station. I haven't seen one of those in a bit. It looks like they were trying to fight back because they have all the stuff you'd need to fight back against this a force this size. They have some interesting stuff, such as ironwood, which is rare. A really, really damaged bow. Um but this stuff is like undamaged, which is nice. Let's go into my holding bag and let's get everything that we need in here. Hmm. So I'm gonna start put it by putting bladed weapons to this side. Money over here. I think I'm just gonna take everything I need, burn this village down. Some bone. Some ammo in there, healing stuff up top. I'll put tools in the center and that stuff over here. Put this on with those. I'll decide what I'm going to use whenever I look at what ammo they take. And this stuff is weird. Just vials of something or another. Knowledge fragments and nitor. Hmm. That's interesting. No idea what Night Tour is used for. We got all sorts of weird stuff in here. A few torches, USP ammo, Uzi ammo, a pickaxe. Which. Mm, it's warm to the touch. Not anything odd. This thing's gonna be wicked to use this MP40. I hate when it rains. Put some gold coins in there. Put the niter in there. I'll sort through this all whenever I get home. I'll be spawning in that random dungeon, I guess. See what it does. Well, that's what it says on the tag. Random dungeon, so... Let's see what happens. MP44 ammo. Can't put my M1 carbine, grenade, Molotov, that knife, MP40. I 
I like smeltery stuff. This stuff is missing some stuff, but it's but I'll never know where the rest is gone. I really don't know why they came out here and left everything out. Ooh, those look warm. These boots are warmer and they're nice for being out in the rain. Just take the bow, take the shotgun. That's a pretty cool looking sword. This stuff's weird. Rare items and such. Man, it looks like what a village would have. I don't know why the... Why the Abyssal Walkers killed them, though. That's the only thing I can assume is the Abyssal Walkers killed them and took the village. But why? What's going on that made them take the village? There shouldn't be a reason that they need it. They're Abyssal Walkers and all. They have the ends. They've never really come to the overworld for an invasion. It's weird. You think this thing has any fuel in it or anything? No, of course it doesn't. Hey, Wall of Enchanting. Let's just take all this with us. They brought Endstone with them, which is extremely rare in the overworlds. It's been here long enough so that the grass has died. They've probably been here about a few months, two or three. They brought a few amber blocks with them, which aren't really native to the overworlds. They have special crafters in the end that craft these things. But then they also brought logs, which are from across the world, so... It's weird. Why did they come here? Couldn't have even questioned them if I wanted to, that we don't speak the same language. They speak, uh, they speak uh, the, abyss the abyssal language. Never quite understand what they what they wanted here. But uh, they can't hurt anybody else while they're dead. I hate magic users coming in here and destroying everything. Messing up villages. Uh, let's just get this and let's get on home. Whatever happened to this country so that magic users can just destroy whatever they want and take over? Falling apart. City and tile, of course, they... Add some of this there from the end, of course. Why'd they bring their materials and just not use them? Uh, I'll just ask too many questions and never get an answer. Whenever I do find somebody, I guess they're going to have to buy this stuff off me. Uh, 
I'll have to hope that no one asks any questions about this. But this village, I have to tell them abyssal walkers took over. They won't believe me because abyssal walkers never really been in the overworld. Never tried anything like this. And those were pretty weak horses by Abyssal Walker standards. Why, 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 why? What were they hoping to gain? Hmm, we've almost got it all. This should be enough. I don't need that last little stack of obsidian tiles. Come back later to get it. And let's continue putting some stuff away. Eucalyptus wood. This is all really rare stuff for us. Let's figure out what this... Where is it? Random dungeon. That's strange. I'm gonna move over here and let's see what it does. Mm. Oh, it says use redstone on it. Oh, never mind. 